Hey everybody, welcome to the first podcast in the Ecology Unit. Today we're going to be talking about the climate and why we have seasons on planet Earth. Uh, and one of the first things that we need to talk about is the Earth. It is not on a zero degree tilt. As you look on your diagram over here, it's actually on a 23 and a half degree tilt. Um, so that means it's kind of crooked towards or away from the sun depending on the time of the year. What we need to do is label a few different uh, spots. So first, we need to highlight the equator. So I'm going to do that in blue, and it goes right here, right through the middle of Africa, kind of around through the Indian Ocean. And there's a few other markings on this that we need to mark, and I'm going to do those in red. And the first one is up here, way at the very top. And then the second one's going to be way down here at the very, very bottom. Okay, so go ahead and mark those on your map in your packet. And then we've got two others that kind of cut right in between the equator and then those two Arctic, Arctic areas. Um, so we should have one, two, three, four extra lines that we've drawn on this. And we're going to go ahead and label these number one, then this is going to be two, and then this one below is three, and then four way down here at the very bottom. And I'm going to move over to the right and we're going to diagram this a little bit. So number one, I'm going to do it in black. Number one, this is the Arctic Circle. Okay, the Arctic Circle. And this is all ocean. There's no land underneath or on top of the Arctic Circle. Greenland stretches up into that, and for half of the year it's frozen, and this is fresh water. Fresh water and ice. And a lot of that helps regulate the climate of the planet. We're going to talk about that when we get into the, um, the ocean currents and everything like that. As we move down, number two, this is called the Tropic of Capricorn. And this is the start of the tropic region. So this is the northern tropics. And this cuts, it's not on the map, but it cuts kind of across the middle of North America. So Florida is part of the tropics and everything south of that down through Mexico and into South America. And then that third line, the blue line, is the equator. We know where that is. That cuts the Earth right in the middle, so latitude zero. Line three that we drew, this is the Tropic of Cancer, uh, like, the, like the disease cancer. And these are the southern tropics. And then finally, the fourth area is the Antarctic. Antarctic Circle, and Antarctic, Antarctica is down there with, uh, you know, penguins and polar bears and all that good stuff. Uh, so there's four main regions that we're looking at. So we've got the Arctic Circle, the Tropic of Capricorn, the Tropic of Cancer, and the Antarctic Circle. And these are going to come into play a lot more with the climate. Okay, so this is a climate diagram that you're going to be using a lot more. Uh, now, so if this is a climate diagram, where do the seasons come from? Well, if we take a look at this map. Okay, this is the path of the Earth around the sun. So again, notice we have a tilt on 23 and a half degrees. And the Earth rotates around the sun, and it's always tilting in the same direction. And so we're going from left to right in the back here. You can follow the arrows, and then from, I'm sorry, from right to left on top, and then from left to right down here on the bottom. And the Earth is always tilting the same direction. So in the northern hemisphere, where we are, in December, this the Earth is tilting away from the sun. And that's why it's cold. So this over here is going to be winter. Okay, this is our winter season, and it's summer in the southern hemisphere where it's closer to the sun. Swing all the way to the other side six months later, and now the northern end is pointing towards the sun. It's closer. The sun's rays are getting there a little bit easier, and this is our summer. Okay, and you can see this is in July. So when our, Earth, when our side of the planet is tilted towards the sun, that feels like summer because we're getting more direct sunlight. And when you're in between halfway, so here neither side is facing the sun any closer. It's, it's looking at it flat faced. This is fall. And then on the opposite again, with the flat face on the, or facing the sun, no, neither side is closer. This is spring. So a combination of the Earth's tilt and its path around the sun gives us the seasons. And then the Earth's tilt itself, how we're facing the sun, gives us the, the different climate regions of the planet. Uh, so go ahead and answer those questions now in your packet and ask me in class if you have questions.